Alright, so this is a test steam engine I built. Um, it is just the three steam pistons, all connected together. Um, these are eight gear boxes, all set to uh, three to one, but I reversed them, so it's technically actually like one to three. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and fire this up. Now, there are some things to note about these new steam pistons. There is no valve um, control needed. It's all built in, which they didn't make very clear. I spent way too much time trying to build my own and figure it out. And I literally just hooked the steam up and it's fine. Um, you probably actually would have this all on one too, but it was just the way I've been working through it. Um, I had to add a bunch of control stuff for the boiler, obviously, to maintain pressure. Um, but yeah, this this it's incredible the amount of torque these put off. I just wish they added sound effects. Uh, that's something they definitely need to add. I'm just going to go ahead and let this get up to pressure. Alright, now that we've built up sufficient steam, I'm going to go ahead and switch the, the uh, throttle all the way up. And you can see here it turns not very fast. Um, they are struggling a tiny bit, but I just wish they had a sound effect. I think it would sound really cool. Um, so now I put all the gearboxes on these buttons here. I had some extra buttons, and this is the actual collective for the uh, rotor. I'm going to go ahead and start switching these on one at a time so you can see the, sp the speed. As you can see, it will literally get away from you. Probably could make a steam powered airplane at this point. You know, just for the sake of uh, seeing how fast this will go, if I can't hit all these at once. Oh, that braced itself for us. But, you know, it's holding steam pressure fine and it finally self destructs itself. But you get the point. Um, and these don't struggle that much at all with this gear ratio, which is even more impressive. So I just figured I'd show you guys that, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.